According to kidshealth.org, hearing loss is a common birth defect, affecting one to three of every 1,000 babies. A number of factors can cause hearing loss, and about half the time, no cause can be found. Dorothy Moat, Doctor of Audiology at Lake ENT, explains how they test and treat ears of all ages. When we test children that are six months old or under a year, any child that we test, we're attempting to determine whether they have satisfactory hearing in both ears. On any child that we test, we're taking a history, looking in the ears, talking to the parent, and initially interacting with the child and then using one of several methods to assess the hearing. When a young child has a hearing deficit, it affects how well they acquire speech and language. And so a three-year-old, if they're not hearing well, they're not going to acquire speech and language in a timely fashion. I mean, they're gonna be delayed. So their hearing is, it's very important to have good hearing just in those earlier years. I think a lot of the behavior problems with children, they're not hearing. They, they can't hear the teacher, so they're off doing their thing and the teacher's calling them down for ADD and things like that. I think if they heard better, if you could get them to recognize that this might be a hearing problem along with a behavior problem, then you know, you got a better chance of reinforcing the good behavior instead of the punishing for the bad. Now, even children with minimal hearing loss can use amplification of the teacher's voice, and it benefits everybody in the whole room. I mean, whether you have hearing loss or not, if you have a better signal to noise ratio, you're gonna understand and learn better. For more information on screenings and the audiology services available at Lake ENT, please click on the Little Ears Story link on our homepage at yourhometownhealth.com.